Perry here, Taylor Sound, tip of the day. <clears throat> this is how we tune uh, our drum heads at Taylor Sound. We switch a lot of drum heads out. We have three or four kits around in the studio and rehearsal spaces. And so we go through heads probably more often than most people do. Um, this is a very simple way to get sort of to a bass level. And usually that's all we need uh, with rehearsal spaces because people end up tuning them a little higher or a little lower depending on you know their preference but we like to just put it where it's just sounds good so really simple so first put a new head this is actually a used head but we buy it from a place who supplies us with heads they they just use these for one gig and they take them off and then I get them for a discounted price I'm not going to tell you where because I don't want to blow uh, my opportunities at getting all these heads but uh, you can see there's some marks on it but typically this would be a normal a brand new head and took the old head off put the new head on and we just got all of the lugs finger tight they're all just finger tight so and they're all supposedly even unless you have you know like some of your you know your lugs are stripped out or whatever but we're just gonna assume these are all even so you just take your thumb or a finger, whatever works, and you press into the center of the uh, drum head. And you can see, you can see all these wrinkles around the drum head. All you want to do is go and you want to just tighten it to where the wrinkles disappear. And you want to go back and forth. Wrinkles disappear. And then I'm going to go to this one. Wrinkles disappear wrinkles disappear. And see I'm kind of going evenly around the drum head and they're just barely disappearing and that's all you want to do is just have them just so they barely disappear and as you get a little tighter you'll notice that even the ones that you haven't tightened are disappearing but you want to still put kind of the same amount of torque on those and you're back to the beginning and so that's Another thing you want to do is you want to seat the head, which I didn't do. But this being a used head, you don't necessarily need to do that. And all you need, all you do to seat it is just press it down in the middle and then let it come back up. But so uh, we're gonna hopefully this is gonna sound okay. It's a little loose, so maybe you know tune it up, you know another quarter inch all the way around. And then you know. From there, you know, now that's a little tight, so I went a little too far. But you get the idea that they're all even, and you can just, you know, adjust these, you know, to your preference once you get uh, to a, a base level. Now I just took it, you know, maybe loosened up. That's getting a little bit better. I probably put it a little loose. It was probably really close the first time, but I just went a little too far with it. Um, but that's the idea, and it doesn't take long, and it's very simple. That's not too bad. Now you might want to go and you know listen, fine tune it, get them all sounded in the same pitch. That was a little, a little floppy. After a couple of rehearsals with this drum as it is, it'll need to be retuned. So that's how you get it to be a bass level. Just press your thumb in, get the wrinkles out, and you're pretty much done. You can do that for floor toms uh, and rack toms. Snares and kick drums is a little bit different story. Snares, I just go a little bit, you know, another turn all the way around uh, so it's tighter and uh, maybe just, you know, even a little looser on the kick drum. Uh, and it's a little bit harder on a kick drum because they're so big to get the, the wrinkles right and to get the right amount of pressure. But I do start the kick drum that way too. So hopefully that helps and uh, you can get your toms uh, sounding pretty close just by doing that technique. So good luck and uh, rock on.